Make your jaw drop, make your... I would just stick my butt out the whole time and hope... You know what, I'm not gonna continue this joke. I usually react to book to movie adaptations to try to keep it kind of relevant to my channel, but now at this point I've kind of given up on that. I saw the trailer for Work It a while ago. From what I gather, it seems to be a teen dance movie about a girl who wants to go to this prestigious university, but in order to have a higher chance of being accepted, she has to have her extracurriculars really boosted up. And she decides to boost them up by joining a dance crew, but then the dance crew won't allow her in because she sucks at dancing and so she decides to rebel by making her own dance group. She enlists the help of her token minority best friend, Liza Koshi. They have a ragtag team of dancers who I guess aren't normally the type of people that you would expect to be in a dance crew, and they end up inviting Jordan Fisher to be their dance instructor. The underdog dance team will probably have a dance-off with the expert dance team. I don't know what the purpose of this movie is, other than showing how if you are not good as something that doesn't belong to you, you somehow should still be entitled to star in it even though you know nothing about it and you're just using it to get an advance in your college degree, I guess. I don't know why that other dance team is considered evil for rejecting her when she literally was not a dancer. We're going outside of our comfort zone by reacting to dance movies even though we know nothing about dance, just like the main character. But you know what's not outside of our comfort zone? Saving money. As you all know, I am a cheap bitch, so it would only be fitting to say that Honey is sponsoring today's video. If you don't know what Honey is, which means that for some reason you've never watched any other YouTube video, Honey is a free browser extension that finds promo codes automatically for you and applies them to your cart. Basically, when you're shopping on any of your favorite websites and then you go to check out, the Honey button drops down and all you have to do is click apply coupons, wait a few seconds, and then watch the prices drop. Coupons are how I save like $20 on pizza. I will be damned if I ever pay full price on pizza. I am only gonna spend money on pizza when it's like over a 50% off deal. But you could totally save on way more expensive stuff like clothes or tech gadgets or whatever. They support over 30,000 stores online like Etsy, Forever 21, Target, Walmart, Redbubble, Domino's, AliExpress, any online shopping that you can think of, Honey pretty much covers that. It's really easy to install Honey. All you have to do is go to joinhoney.com slash Cindy and it takes only two clicks to install the extension. If you don't already have Honey, you are basically missing out on free money because it is absolutely free. It takes only a few seconds to install it. So get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash Cindy. That's joinhoney.com slash Cindy and thank you Honey for sponsoring this video. Okay, so I'm assuming this guy is like the leader of the elite dance crew that's gonna be their enemy. I like him already. They're obviously very talented. They love what they do. I'm rooting for them so far. I don't know. You can't do this. I, look, I'm so sorry. Honestly, Quinn, I don't accept your apology. Pack your things and clear out your locker. We're in the same French class. Baby, you're canceled. This interaction is giving me way too many flashbacks to book Twitter. You're probably wondering, why Duke? Why not Yale? My dad went there. So. so she's only going to Duke because she has daddy issues. All her motivations always tie back to a man, doesn't it? I am looking for applicants that are change makers, risk takers, not applicants that just like can fill the box. She's basically saying, listen, we don't accept basic bitches over here. You need to grow a personality in order to enter this university. Well, this is just fascinating. I had no idea you're a part of the dance team. I am a con I'm a contributor. What's your style? I'm sorry? Your style of dance, honey. Are you a breaker? Are you a wall climber? Are you into Zumba? You My style is cultural appropriation. I do want to make a rant though. I do think that it is unfair for people to be evaluated on how basic they are compared to how special they are at such an early age. I think there's so much pressure that people face to not be a basic bitch and be the best at like all these things and be well-rounded. But it's like when you're a teenager, of course you're going to be a basic basic bitch, you don't know who you are yet. It's unrealistic to just expect for people to know exactly what they want within the first 20 years of their life. Not everyone can figure it out right away. And it is kind of a bummer to punish people for being a basic bitch. Let people be basic. It's part of like your rite of passage to figure out what you want. Or maybe people are just basic and that's okay too. I don't know. Basic bitch rights. I actually think I'm just as good as you are. Oh really? Maybe better. <gasps>
dance off. He's so talented. You know, I'm really rooting for him. <gasps> he spins so fast. That was a cool flip. He does appear to be the best. Objectively speaking, based on this dance off, he is the superior one. And I would help you, but guess what? I have the exact opposite problem. I have a 4.0 GPA and I need you to teach me how to dance. Ah, uh, yes, the two genders, 4.0 GPA and being good at dancing. You gotta pick one or the other. When you're a teenager in a movie, you can't be good at more than one thing at a time. I hate that. Stop that right now, that is terrifying. Quinn, where are your eyeballs going? Stop. Not until you say yes. Quinn, stop. 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 Okay, fine. Fine. Yes. Yes? Yes. Sorry. Takes a second to get out of it. Okay. I never want to see that again. You in the upside down? Girl, you're going to be in the upside down if you keep on hanging out with people like her. Ew, what are you doing here? I banished you. Trinity, can you sage the space? Um. Listen, I'm going to need that sage when I go to book con. <laughs> Is she dancing or having a stroke? You just need to sit back, relax, and let me do what I do best. Which is what? Stress me out? No. Research and organization. Oh no, another point where I kind of relate to her. Overly preparing for something to make up for lack of talent. Aw, he's cute. You know, I'm glad he moved on to becoming a dance instructor after Laura Jean rejected him. Are you Jake Taylor? Depends on who's asking. I'm Quinn, and uh, I'm starting a dance team at, at Woodbright High. I'm not so interested. I'm we have a very important ingredient for winning, a can-do spirit. Can-do spirit. Mm-hmm. What about skill? She has none. If someone has to describe their team by having a can-do spirit, that means they don't have any talent. <laughs> That's like saying you have a great personality. Look at you, the way you carry yourself, your posture, you're 100% not a dancer. He can tell, oh my God, if he looked at me, he would look at my hunchback of Notre Dame ass and be like, this bitch has scoliosis. I made flyers. You made flyers with Comic Sans? This bitch right here. So there's this girl in my homeroom. It's an Asian girl. I knew it! Dude, it's always a fucking Asian girl side character who has some kind of like alternative goth look to her. She just needs like a purple streak in her hair and then she's like the token Asian side character. Everybody calls this kid DJ Tapes because he makes the hottest mixtapes around. But what they don't know is that he's got some serious moves. Yeah, this guy is supposed to be the best flipper in town. Dude, Liza Koshi is doing all the work in recruiting people. And what does Sabrina Carpenter do? Make a flyer with Comic Sans? Did she print that from Microsoft Word? She didn't even use Photoshop? She didn't even use Canva? I'm gonna have to show you everything at once, but let's go for it. All right, all right. Well, I still have the animations, woo. <laughs> if guys were actually charmed by girls who are incompetent, I would have like a dozen boyfriends by now. I guarantee you throughout the movie, she's gonna be like all bumbly and incompetent and he's gonna be like, <laughs> how endearing. No, bitch, get your shit together. Come here, slow down, do you mind? See, this wouldn't work for me because I'm extremely ticklish. If he even tried to put a hand on me, my fist would instinctively go to his face. Oh, maybe this is why I don't have sexual attention with my dancing instructor who finds my clumsiness endearing. Drop and stop. Oh. <gasps> Are you okay? Oh no! I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Aww. I... <laughs> Damn, things got really tough after Laura Jean rejected him. I read about acupressure for your knee injury. These points were recommended. Thanks. Thank you for the dance lesson. All right, now crack his knee. Then he'll be forced to teach you how to dance. Raven, you're doing our costumes. How do you guys feel about dead cheerleaders? Wait, I don't know. I kind of like dead cheerleaders as a concept. It could be like a really conceptual dance piece with like a story to it. We should listen to her. This looks like the poor man's versions of Marvel Runaways. See, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. She's gonna be an incompetent bitch and he's just gonna look at her and smile. Why are you smiling? How is that endearing? Man, this shit is ridiculous. How could it be that easy? I think I don't see you staring at Jake like he's a pop quiz. Ooh, maybe she wants him to pop her quiz. Oh, I did, didn't I? <laughs> must be Mr. Right. What are you thinking about in terms of firmness? So many things. Do you mind? I wanna 
Test the spoon worthiness. This feels inappropriate. He's just trying to do his job. Leave him alone. Firmness is... The firmness of the bed is good. Like, if you imagine the scenario with the gender reverse, super uncomfortable. Don't flirt with customer service workers, okay? They already have it hard enough, especially during this epidemic. Who are you gonna perform for? We have our audience. Haven't they been through enough? They've probably been through wars. They've seen some shit. And now you gotta subject them to this. I just feel really bad for this old man. He's spending the last years of his life like this. It's just not right. At this point, you might as well just bury him peacefully. Take him out of his misery. If I were him, I would fake a heart attack just so that they could bury me in a casket so I don't have to see this shit. <laughs> yeah, just pretend you're dead. <laughs> You know what? He's in a better place. It's for the best. Wait, so they're just gonna gloss it over and keep on practicing? Seeing a person die right in front of you is pretty traumatizing. No one's gonna go to therapy after this? Like, no one's gonna talk about what just happened? No one's gonna process it? I guess they'll process it through dance. Feel free to just get loose. Yep. Yeah. Dude, that's me when I go clubbing. I have too many things in common with this girl and I hate it. Why do we look like a bunch of dental hygienists? What? They're uniforms. I borrowed them from the nursing home. Oh my god, you know what they should do? They should do a dance number to the TLC song, No Scrubs. That would be so fucking funny and people would laugh at it. It would be a bop. Also, there's tons of different remixes for No Scrubs too. So I bet you could find a really nice remix to make a dance to. Damn, maybe I should be their coach. Hmm, maybe Jordan Fish and I should collaborate. <laughs> Trinity, I told you not to say anything. You, you know these are the kind of bitches that show up to class 20 minutes late with a Starbucks drink. I love that for them though. I still think No Scrubs would have been a better song choice. We have a six, a five, and a five. Does that mean they made it? It's between us and the next crew performing, so if we beat them, then we're in. Maybe they'll have an accident. Maybe it'll be some dumb luck. Are you seeing what I'm saying? <gasps> I knew it! I knew it was because of dumb luck, but I didn't expect this. Damn, resend who? Maybe you can just hide me in the back for work it. Ooh, he's about to put it in the back. That's inappropriate. I shouldn't say that. That's cool. I like it when they showcase different types of bodies for dancers. Why couldn't they have been like the main characters instead? Yeah! What if they were the main characters instead and they weren't accepted into the elite dance team because they didn't fit the conventional body types that people expect to be a dancer, but then they prove that they are just as good, if not even better, than everyone else. I miss dancing. So why'd you give it up? Because I wanted to be the best. Dude, I am the same way. Like, if I'm not automatically good at something, I don't even want to try it. That's because you can't learn to dance by reading a book. Hey! Don't criticize her for using books as a defense mechanism, cause that hits a little too close to home. Baby, I'm not even in the gown. That's a really good sound quality coming out from your phone. Feel this way. Uh, excuse me. If he did that, I'd be like, oh, what the fuck? Make your jaw drop, make your I would just stick my butt out the whole time and hope. You know what? I'm not gonna continue this joke. Look, it, it's no secret that you guys aren't the most technically skilled dancers out there. Listen, it's no secret that you guys all suck ass, but I really want Sabrina's coochie, so how is this necessary? What is, what is this doing for the plot? He looks like he auditioned for Teen Wolf, but he didn't get a role. If you ever need anything, you just call me. Number. This is just enabling people to harass customer service workers. Don't do that. Quinn, you can do better than this. Ah, uh, yes the internal struggle, because now that she's good at dance, that means she can't be good at schoolwork. Remember, you have to choose one of the two genders. You know you actually have to pay to use a dance studio, right? Otherwise, people get fired. He got fired? 
No, the pink haired guy took it too far. Jake, everything's gonna be okay. How? Oh no. Dude, use your white privilege to help him out. Like you just got this dude fired. Why would they even bother to sabotage this team when this team really shouldn't be a threat to them <laughs> because they have years of experience and this is just like a ragtag team of random kids that are starting to learn dance in like two months. So like why even bother? Ever since you started dancing, you have been completely off balance. <laughs> why does this always happen in like every dance movie? You've changed ever since you started dancing. You're not the same anymore. I was on the team what somehow. What are you talking you know, about? We do the lighting and oh so then God. Jazz and I decided to make our own team. Stop. And then I don't understand. So is it over? Is it, is it done? Dude, the mom needs to chill out. <laughs> like, it's not that deep. I'm really sorry, mom. Oh, man. Dude, she's acting like this shit is the end of the world. So you're just gonna quit on us? I really need to get my grades up. Plus, I'm the worst dancer on the team. You guys don't really need me and... Alright, that's true. Bye! You know, for a second I thought you actually cared and you weren't just using all of I us. Wait, you thought at any point <laughs> that she wasn't using all of you guys? The whole team was built upon her trying to get into college just to trick one person. This wasn't even a sustainable plan in the first place. Guys, <laughs> That's okay, they can still dance even without her. I mean, she's right, she was the worst dancer. Everyone is counting on you, you can't bail on them. You're lecturing me about quitting? He didn't quit, he got fired. <laughs> There's a fucking difference between the two. I don't have time for dance anymore, and I, I really don't have time for a boyfriend. Whoa, who said anything about boyfriend? That's kind of presumptuous. Ma'am. I love Queer Eye. It makes me cry every time. I wish they'd come here. Oh, I like that show too. Oh my god, I want to be her in the future. <laughs> Just stuck in an old nursing home with no kids and no husband and nobody because my life was equally as boring as Sabrina Carpenter's. We all end up in the same place. And the only memories we have are the ones that were like really fun. You know, the times we spent with our friends. Well, joke's on you because I don't remember anything from my life, not even last week. I don't remember any fun stuff that I do or the boring shit that I do. It's all just a blur. And that's on depression. I've been thinking about you. I've been thinking about you. It's at this point that I realize I'm even more boring than a main character because if I were doing a mindless activity like that, I wouldn't be listening to music. I would be listening to an audiobook. And then after I finished the audiobook, I would be making YouTube videos about what I thought of the audiobooks. You know, I'm really not trying to reflect on my life while watching a Netflix movie, so let's continue. I thought that dancing would get me into Duke, and Duke was gonna make me happy. But dancing makes me really happy. Girl, you've been doing this for like two weeks. It's not that deep. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Go. Wait, how does she know where he lives? But also, his apartment is really nice. He got money for a guy who has no job. Okay, I know they're dancing, but I keep on looking at his apartment and I'm trying to guess how much it is because I'm pretty sure this must be a really expensive apartment. And I don't know how he can afford this as someone who used to be a dance instructor for children and now doesn't have a job. What's going on? What's the secret here? Welcome to your new rehearsal space. How would the workers even allow her to do this? Because obviously if you're gonna practice for dancing, it's gonna be loud as fuck because you're jumping around everywhere along with the music. This shit isn't allowed. Are we gonna get both of them fired? Okay, uh, here's the plan. In the next few weeks, you're all gonna be learning each other's styles, all right? Ooh, cultural appropriation. All right, let's go. Hey. Quinn, I'm on the toilet. Wait, so how long did she wait for Liza Koshi to go into that specific bathroom stall? Did she have to sit there the entire time hoping that it was Liza? What if another person had came in instead of Liza? Like how many times did she try to pull the hi thing and it was the wrong person? Also, high school bathrooms are really smelly because they are very poorly maintained. I don't know if this was worth it. I think she could have just texted her if she wanted to talk. <gasps> that is not 20 seconds of hand washing. She didn't even use soap. This is how the coronavirus spreads. This is why school should be shut down. We should do online schooling. You quit the birds? Wait, so you're so you're rejoining? You think I was just gonna let you guys win work it without me? I will find it extremely hard to believe if they actually win work it because they've been practicing for like less than two months against an elite team that has corporate sponsorships. But it's okay, as long as they have fun. Beyonce, Queen Bay. 
I pray that you make my feet swift tomorrow. Don't drag Beyonce into this. She doesn't deserve this. Dear Beyonce, let me continue culturally appropriating you in the name of dance. What are you wearing? These are clothes. I'm going to the library. Oh, since when do you dress like Shakira when you go to the library? How dare you insult Shakira like that? She would never fucking dress that way. You know what? I am upset because we had a deal and you're not going anywhere right now. You are grounded. Dude, the mom needs to chill out. Like, if she likes to dance, just let her dance. It's not that big of a deal. Why is she acting so pressed about this? Your husband is dead. Let it go. Don't try to funnel his dreams into your kid. That's on therapy. Like, are you don't have to no, wrong. Run her over. Run her over. Ooh, he's so extra. I dig it though. <laughs> K-pop? What a multicultural choreography right there. So much diversity in the dancers and in the songs. I like this. This dancing is all over the place. There's like no theme, no cohesion. Their outfits don't even match. I gotta be honest, this kind of looks like Kids Pop the concert. Why is there a standing ovation? This was so all over the place. There was no theme to it. I wish they had gone with the dead cheerleaders. That would have been really badass. 9.3. They won? These bitches practiced for less than two months and they won a competition compared to people that have been practicing dancing for years? The caucasity. Congrats. Dude, he danced so much better than <laughs> the rest of this dance team. Like, I don't, okay, listen, I know he's an asshole, but this competition is not evaluating personality. It's based on skill. He clearly has superior skills. The whole team did. They were well coordinated. They had a theme. They were all in sync. These people were just all over the place. I don't understand. This is bullshit. This competition is rigged. Dude, he's so good. He moves so fast, so smooth. He should have been the winner, dude. Come on. I don't know what was the point of this character. It was like they saw this random dude and they were like, he needs a job. Let's just put him in as like a mattress worker. And everyone was like, what is he gonna do? Uh, I don't know, take a shirt off? Be sexually harassed by Liza Koshy? The movie's over. It was as expected, I guess. I don't really have any conclusion to this other than the other team should have won because they were clearly superior. This shit doesn't make sense. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. Go ahead and unsubscribe from my channel and goodbye.